It's being described as the wedding of the decade, uh, maybe even the century. Prince William married uh, his bride, uh, Catherine, at 3 o'clock this morning our time as millions uh, watched in the streets of London and billions around the world. The new royal couple is a reminder uh, of the couple that came before, William's parents, Charles and Diana. At Milner Gardens in Qualicum Beach, that reminder hits close to home. Our Jonathan Bartlett has the story. He joins us now live in our mid Allen Bureau with the tales. Jonathan. Hudson, Milner Gardens in Qualicum Beach is a beautiful spot. Flowers, forests, cottage, and ocean. A perfect place to get away from royal duty and paparazzi. In the dining room in Milner House, memories on display. Photographs from a royal visit 25 years ago. Milner House and its 60 acres of beautiful gardens and wild forest was once the home of Veronica Milner, whose bloodline had direct and indirect ties to royalty. Veronica Milner was a distant cousin of, uh, of Lady Di. Uh, she was in the Spencer Churchill line. So it was fitting that during the Expo 86 royal tour, Prince Charles and Lady Diana would come here for tea. They actually snuck away and got away from all the paparazzi. They caught a hovercraft, came over, landed on the beach and came up and spent the afternoon with Veronica Milner and uh, had lunch and, and tea in the afternoon here. Uh, Charles apparently sat out on the veranda and sketched Denman Island and Hornby Island and just, just some unwinding time in a very busy schedule. A year later, it was the Queen and Prince Philip's turn to drop by. And they actually took the site over for three days and they had it to themselves and they just had a chance to, again, get away from the crowds and breathe for a while and, and just walk the gardens and, and relax. Prince William and his new bride are coming to Canada this summer and it would make sense for them to visit Milner Gardens following the footsteps of mum and dad, grandma and granddad. But alas, the itinerary for the couple's first royal tour in Canada this July doesn't include British Columbia, let alone Vancouver Island. We were disappointed. We had hoped that there was a, we were hoping for a sliver of a chance to get them out here to, to uh, celebrate their honeymoon in, in, in the gardens here. But um, hopefully next time they're out, we'll, we'll see them here. It's their loss. Although the blooms are two weeks late this year, they're about to explode in color. The grounds and tea house are now open to the public. The late Veronica Milner donated the home and land to Malaspina College, now Vancouver Island University, in 1996. The young royal couple is welcome here any time. We'll give them a standing invitation. <laughs> they're welcome to come any time they'd like. Certainly have a pot of tea on for them. Prince William and Kate Middleton might not be visiting this summer, but you can. In fact, the month of May marks the 10-year anniversary, sorry, 10-year anniversary of Milner Gardens being open to the public. And in honor of the anniversary, this Sunday is free admission with music, garden tours, and cake on the lawn. Hudson? Excellent, Jonathan. Thank you. Thank you.